Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to do an updated products I've hit pan on video. I haven't done one of these in a really long time um, and I have some products with like major pan showing so I thought it would be fun to do like an updated version of this. I guess the idea is kind of just to share what my thoughts are on these products since obviously I've gotten a lot of use out of them. I may not have used them up quite yet um, but a lot of them are really getting there and I don't know for some reason people just really like seeing pan on products and I do too I love watching these kinds of videos I just think it's so satisfying when you finally hit pan on a product um, even if it's something you really like because it shows that you're getting use out of it and you're getting your money's worth um, I don't know there's just something really satisfying about it do you guys do you guys know what I mean so the first product I just hit pan on this today it has like the tiniest tiniest little pan showing. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. I do hit pan on powders pretty easily and pretty quickly, um, but actually it took me a while to hit pan on this one, so there must be a lot of product in there. Um, I have this in the shade Fair. This is a powder that is very mattifying, like very, so I try to go kind of light with it. Um, that may be why it took me a while to hit pan on it, because I don't like to apply too much, because it can start to look a little bit cakey. If I, if I go overboard. I have kind of a habit of putting a lot of powder on just because I want to make sure that my face is really set and so that I can really blend like bronzer and blush over my powder easily. I feel like I, I just have a habit of going a little overboard with powders. So um, this one I do have to be kind of careful with. I think if you have oily skin, this is a powder that you would really like, especially if you're wanting something with a little bit of coverage. Um, it's also something that I've worn kind of as a powder foundation on its own, and it works really nicely for that as well. So I have kind of normal skin, I would say. In the winter, it's a little bit more normal to dry. In the summer, it's a little bit oily. So um, it's a powder that works for me, but like I said, it's very, very mattifying, and it can look a little bit dry. I actually am wearing that on my face today, too. While we're on the topic of like complexion products, um, I've also hit pan on the Pixi Correction Concentrate in the shade Brightening Peach. This took a really long time for me to hit pan on. This is a product that I wanted to like really badly. I have really, really dark circles under my eyes. This is supposed to kind of correct dark circles. I, for some reason, I just don't think it quite does it for me. I'm also wearing it today. I think it did a decent job, but I feel like it just doesn't quite correct my under eyes completely. Um, my under eyes are a little bit more of like, they have a little bit more of like a reddish purple undertone instead of like a blue undertone. And I think that peach is supposed to correct blue, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so maybe I need to go for something a little bit more yellow and less peachy, but this is something that I am trying to just use up. I've had it for a really long time and it hasn't dried out yet. So um, it's a nice product. I know a lot of people really like it. I just don't think that the peach correctors are quite what I need. This is a face palette and I have hit pan on two of the four uh, pans in here. This is the e.l.f. Total Face Palette. I think it's called their Natural Glow Face Palette. Um, I don't know, e.l.f. is really weird about putting titles on their products these days, but I've hit pan on both the bronzer and the highlighter. Um, neither, I haven't hit pan on either of the blushes. Blushes take me forever to hit pan on, um, but I have hit quite a bit of pan on the bronzer and the highlighter. This palette is really, really nice if you have fair skin. I really like it because I feel like I can't really go wrong with it because all the shades are kind of muted and just soft and natural, um, which I think is why it's called their like natural glow face palette or whatever. But I really do like that bronzer. Um, it's a matte bronzer, and then the highlighter is, it's an interesting highlighter, it's a little bit, it's its a very soft highlight, but you can build it up and get like a really nice kind of dewy look with it, so I really like this palette. The blushes are nice too, I like to travel with this because it kind of has everything I need for my face. But yeah, I'm definitely going to finish the bronzer and the highlight way before I finish the blushes, which is kind of a bummer, but... Um, Really, I really do like that palette. So a blush that I have hit pan on, and I am so proud of this because it took me forever <laughs> to hit pan on. This is the Lauren Brooke Cosmetics Pressed Cheek Color in the shade Sweet 16. This blush I have talked about on my channel so much because it really is one of my favorite blushes. It's a very small blush, and I don't know how it took so long for me to hit pan on this, but if you've been following my Project Pan um, that I've been doing throughout 2018, then you'll know what a struggle it has been <laughs> for me to hit pan on this because I used this for every single day for like three months straight, and it took me, I think it took me like three or four months to finally hit pan. Um, but now that I have hit pan, I think it probably won't take me too long to use it up because it is such a small 
blush, but I really do like that blush. It's not what I'm wearing today, but um, I do, I wear this a lot because I'm, like I said, it's in my project pan, so I'm trying to use it a ton, but I'm so proud of that. This is the only blush I own that I've hit pan on, and I feel like it's quite the accomplishment for me. Um, another face product that I have significant pan showing on is the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo. So this has like a contour slash bronzer, I use it for both, and like a champagne highlight. This has also been in my project pan, and I have used the crap out of this. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to repress the bronzer soon. I've actually grown to like this more than I did before. <laughs> I feel like the bronzer, it's a little bit hard to blend, but I mean, I don't know, it's not that bad. Um, and it's a nice tone. I feel like I can use it for both contour and bronzer. It's kind of dark, but it works for my skin tone. I think it could work for uh, a variety of different skin tones. And then what I've noticed about the highlight is it actually is pretty subtle. Um, I can build up quite a bit of it and it still looks kind of soft, which is nice if you don't want like a super blinding highlight. But overall, it's a nice little duo. It's not something I'd recommend just because it's like $26 for this little thing. And um, while it does last a while, I just feel like there are equally good products from the drugstore that are a lot less expensive. I've also hit pan on the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in the shade Soiree. This is kind of a cream eyeshadow. Really, really pretty. It's actually really similar to a couple of shades in the Anastasia Norvina palette. Um, so if you're looking for kind of a similar, like, mauve really metallic foiled shadow, this is nice. And it's only like three bucks. I am a really big fan of these e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadows. I also had the one in the gold shade, and that one I actually used up completely. I'm usually not a single shadow person, but I feel like these are really unique. This is starting to dry out, and I feel like I'm probably not going to use it up before it completely dries out, so... But yeah. Yay. It's in here. So this is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit, and previously I had already hit pan on the wax in here, but I also hit pan on the medium brown powder in here um, since then. And this is actually a really nice brow kit. This is the only shade it comes in. This is ash brown, but it's kind of nice if one of these shades works for you. I'm only really able to use the ash brown shade. Um, I've also used the deeper shade, I think, when I've done like friends makeup before. It's nice. I have kind of recently been more into brow pencils, but for a while there I was really into using this. I don't know why, I guess. <laughs> Um, it's kind of nice, like brow powders are kind of nice because they do like blend in really easily. I usually just use like an angled brush. This is like a wet n wild angled eyeliner brush. This is what I usually use with um, a brow powder, but it's a nice little brow kit and it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, very inexpensive because it's wet and wild, but the wax is going a lot faster than the powder So um, I'm pretty sure like once I use up the wax, I'll probably just be done with it But it's a nice little brow kit if you're if you like brow powders and one of those two Powder shades works for you. I think it's a nice little hidden gem at the drugstore So those are all the products that I have hit pan on um, in my collection You know what's interesting is I actually don't have any pan on any of my eyeshadows that are in palettes just really interesting to me. I think I'm getting close on a few. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys next time.